one of the big ass rocks that we pulled out of the pond yesterday. Neighbors taking that one, this one, and there's another one right over there, like right there. He's taking those, these three. These all came out of the pond, and you know, so he can use them for his his gardens. But to give you an idea of size, the tire is almost as tall as me. But then again, I'm a pretty short person. <laughs> Hopefully we see this thing get lifted with the extra chain. <laughs> yep, moving the rocks. We're gonna get this chained up and see if it'll hook up and lift. So while moving rocks, found this thing. Of all things in the soil right over here in that little pile right there. I don't know. Hope it shows right because I can't really see the screen. But it looks like it looks like a tooth on a jawbone. Or teeth in a part of a jawbone, I don't know. Like the canine. Weird. <laughs> Moving the stones. <laughs> so, all that's left to do really is clean up. I mean, obviously. Um, and you're taking all the branches and stuff, getting those all put up into a pile. Uh, the large tree trunks, I gotta come out with the chainsaw and get them cut into a size that I can actually get them in the back of my truck. Because I'm just gonna bring my truck in the back here. I was trying to get my the ATV I got running soon enough so I can connect the debris trailer to it and get everything. But I've got a I just got to use my truck because then I can get the big timbers out, get them cut the size for firewood. There's what's here isn't all that's here because we got this stuff here. And then on the other side of the fence where all the branches are lined up at, uh, there's some large chunks like this over there too that I got to get chopped to size. But that's about, it's about a quarter wood there. Um, this is on the outside of the pond area. Uh, I still got to get some of this raked and cleaned up. I'm probably, I got to get a, another hose so that I have enough hose to, <laughs> enough water hose to get the sprinkler out here so we can kind of harden the ground up a little bit as we rake it so it's not so dusty. Um, right here where this pile is of all things, I'm actually going to bring some of these larger rocks around to make a small uh, fire pit type thing so that there's kind of a little fire pit here I, got, I think I got a couple flat cinder blocks still that I can use in here to make like a stair like steps going up this to make it easier to go up this and then when it's full of water then get in the pond over there uh, there will be fish put in this so that's where these rocks kind of come in handy for a spot to of all things cast the fish line out carefully obviously you don't have to cast out very far <sighs> but kind of like I said uh, we got some cleanup to do um, give you kind of a final showing of all the shit we pulled out of here all these bottles here it's a roll of plastic, which ironically, uh, if I can find some carpet before we start to lay the pond liner down, I'll lay a chunk of carpet down in the bottom area, the deep spot, because that's where it's mostly rocky and most of the sharp shit's at. It'll help 
keep from anything that I may have missed from puncturing through the plastic so easy. But then I'm going to put this over the top of that as an added layer. And there should be enough there to get the, at least the whole bottom part. Then we found these along with that other tire that was over there. Um, these I actually put to the side because that's going towards a project and all that. So over here, zoom in, see kind of that wooden structure right there. Those are all made out of branch. That's for the garden. Um, I got to get these moved. This pile of crap. I'll probably just move it over with this pile over here. Um, I got to come out with a pull saw and delimb the trees at least up about 20 feet. Um, I'm allowing this to kind of stay. I'm not necessarily too worried about a fire type thing. Um, as long as you keep it wetted down and all, it'll start to break down real easy. I'm letting it dry because it makes it brittle, breaks the small pieces, and then when you start wetting it down, yeah, it'll just, it'll basically turn into added garden space if somebody wanted to, if I'm not living here by then. Uh, another pile of shit that we pulled out of the uh, ground here. And if you notice, right there, it even had an old, like, record player. It's like, man, how many of us sat back and start seeing toys and stuff like that that we had as kids and was like, you know, even if like a little piece of it was gone, those things ended up being worth something. But then I got to come through here, pluck any of this crap out real quick so that we can take these berms and rake them across right here, kind of cover that up and get a, just make it more even because I'm going to plant, I want to plant some plants up here on these berms. Get this looking nice and then when they get, the, the plants get tall enough, because I plan on getting some tree, like fruit trees and stuff. Once they get tall enough, it'll provide, help provide more shade to the pond. Another tire. More shit that we found. This, yeah. This is all the crap we found in this, in this damn thing. And I remind you. I was, you know, looking at this yesterday when we were pulling this crap out. I couldn't help but think to myself how uh, the people that did this are a part of the same generation that are trying to tell us how to take care of our environment. Yet, we're the ones cleaning up the environment that they fucked up. I mean, this is obvious. The one thing that you're not seeing in this pile, because uh, over where I was standing on the other side, there's another small pile over there. We actually found a couple of car batteries, maybe a boat battery on one of them, but yeah, it's, it was, uh, pissed me off pretty good actually, because you don't, you just don't do that, that really fucks the ground up and any plant life that's around it, but then, yeah, it's a lot of property for one person by themselves to manage, but. I'm doing my best, and I'm thankful that I had the neighbors here to help with this. Could you imagine me trying to di dig this out with just a pickaxe and, and shovel? Because I was getting ready to. <laughs> but then this is the original stuff that we first found when we first started to dig this out. We didn't expect this to turn into that. And there's another pile, the one I was just talking about, right there. And then, of course, the tires and everything else. Um, in fact, there's actually another pile from this that I had already moved when we pulled this out. Because this was a little bigger. I try, was trying to get everything moved so I can get somebody out here to just grab it all and make it easier. But I realized <laughs> some of this stuff is actually too heavy for me to pick up by myself. So I, I'm going to get someone out here that is able to at least pull in through here with the trailer and I'll help them get all this loaded up so that they're not doing it by themselves but then we get rid of it get this shit cleaned up better and get it looking more presentable so yeah um, I'll have to move some of these rocks out of the way before I go lay the uh, pond liner down because it's going to overlap a little bit I'll have to 
kind of create a lip around this thing as I go and kind of pin the pond liner down and then put a little soil over the top of it or and all that to help hold it in place while it gets filled with water but yeah from here looking down I don't know how it is on camera but for me from point of view looking down there that that really don't look that far down it doesn't look that deep until you get in there and you realize that it's like maybe yeah almost about 12 feet deep especially right there Like I said yesterday, this thing, it, when you're standing on the top edge, it looks bigger round. And then not as deep. But when you go down inside there, you realize it's actually fairly deep. But then it doesn't look so big around. It's really weird. But I'm hoping to start filling this here this next week. Start filling with water. And then while it's filling, uh, start getting this trash bullshit out of here so that way we don't uh yeah have this still sitting here as you can tell like uh there's a couple large rocks and there's like looks like a wire and a little green thing there that's a bucket lid there's still a couple things i gotta pull out of there that i started plucking up and realizing there's yep we still got a few things to pluck out of here but just all the big nasty shits out and then yeah once this is done oh, like I said as it's filling with water I can start focusing on removing trash getting the the lumber cut and moved the branches all moved to a, a decent spot because right now it's obviously not the time of year to burn <laughs> definitely not the time of year to burn and all that, but I can at least get the burn pile, a burn pile uh, put together so that way if I'm still living here at the time at that time I can get it all burned during the winter time because anytime even if I burn anything in a barrel I usually try to wait till winter that way there's snow and shit like that. We don't have any risk of anything. Um, and having a burn pile just in this area is just way better to wait until it's there's snow on the ground. Because the snow ain't going to stop it from burning at that point. <laughs> when it comes to a burn pile. Um, anyways, that's kind of the progress of where we're at right now. I got to get this raked out some more. My rake. And kind of bring some of the soil up into the rocks a little bit so that way we got soil up underneath them on this backside too. Get it leveled out, run a sprinkler out here, get the soil to be, you know, a little more packed down. Um, put in the burn pile right about there, right about where the shade starts right here. And then, yeah. It's just clean up and fill, basically, is what it's at now. Fill it with water and clean all the shit up around. Um, so still got some work to do, but get the do this right. And probably get the right people out here and have this done within a month. Although, one thing I'll say. I did find a pretty cool little bow tie. Through all this. Have a good day.